Well, thank you very much, Mr. Schwartzman, and I want to acknowledge the great work that you are doing on behalf of U.S.-China relations with the Schwartzman scholars. We're really going to be able to encourage more people-to-people -people and cultural exchange. Former Prime Minister uh, Tony Blair once said that diplomacy first starts with people-to-people -people exchange. And if we want greater effectiveness in our strategic, diplomatic, cultural, uh, military issues and on trade. We have to have better understanding among our peoples and the Schwarzman scholars and the generosity of Steve Schwartzman's is much to be appreciated. Let's give Steve a big round of applause for what he's doing. <laughs> it's great to see so many friends here, uh, people that I've served with in the Obama administration, uh, Secretary Pritzker, Mike Froman and others, also former cabinet members, uh, Norm Mineta, a former uh, uh, Commerce Secretary under President Clinton and Transportation Secretary under uh, President Bush along with uh, Secretary Cohen. Uh, it's great to have so many friends of China here. And I want to welcome Vice Premier Wang Yan uh, to uh, this last JCCT session under President Obama. And also want to thank the China General Chamber of Commerce USA for hosting today's luncheon. China's transformation uh, over the last several decades is perhaps the most dramatic the world has ever seen in terms of uh, an, a civilization that's one of the world's oldest and yet at the same time one of its most modern. And the work of the Chinese government officials from the local level to the national level all these decades, raising hundreds of millions of people out of poverty uh, and into a strong growing middle class is short of breathtaking. And we compliment all those Chinese leaders for all that they have done for, on behalf of the people of China and people around the world. It's been more than 40 years since Nixon first went to China, more than 30 years since diplomatic relations were resumed. And in that period of time, trade between our two countries has grown astronomically from less than 100 million a year when President Nixon first traveled to China to now one and a half billion dollars of trade each day between our two countries with millions and millions of jobs on both sides dependent on that trade. China is already America's number one export destination for our agricultural sector. And there's with a growing Chinese middle class means greater demand for those made in USA goods and services which means jobs for the American people. China obviously has clearly benefited from uh, trade and open markets and with its accession to the WTO. But as we've seen in Europe with the Brexit vote and even our own recent elections, there's a growing isolationism and indeed opposition and fear about trade throughout the world. It's incumbent upon all of us to demonstrate the benefits of trade and to help those who have been adversely affected by trade. And it's critical that trade agreements uh, be faithfully and expeditiously implemented and that promises of open markets, fair competition, and non-discrimination be kept and be implemented. And so we look forward to the discussions of this JCCT session and hope that continued progress can be made because we know clearly the benefits of trade. With 95% of the world's consumers living outside the United States. American companies have to look outside America in terms of markets to bring the benefits of American technology, ingenuity, and products to people around the world, and at the same time creating good paying jobs for Americans. And that's clearly a win-win benefit of trade. But we also have to recognize that some people are suspicious of trade and have not been benefited by trade, and we need to help those. So let me just say that uh, we welcome uh, the Vice Premier uh, and his entire delegation. And again, we compliment you and all of your government leaders and people in business in China for all that they've done to raise the standard of living for the people of China. What you've accomplished would have been very, very difficult to accomplish here in countries uh, of the West. And so we are very, very appreciative of what you've done. And we're very grateful of the growing relationship between China and the United States on so many different issues, whether it's medical research, whether it's on reducing the threat of nuclear weapons and the proliferation of nuclear weapons, to uh, uh, finding cures for cancer, and of course, working on climate change.